Hey everybody. Today I'm meeting up with 21st Century Expeditionist and we're gonna head down to St. John's to look for some Indian mounds. Should be pretty cool. It's a location I've never been before. I'm just hoping we don't get run over by some airboats. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can get into. of the St. John's. Starting to get a little bit of distance away from the highway so as we get a little quieter. But since it's been raining quite a bit last last week or so, the water level is up and the creek is really swift. So it's really windy today too but way out there in the open now that we're in this tree cover here the wind has subsided so now we're fighting the current. It's okay though, I mean, it's turning out to be a, a fantastically beautiful day. It was really cold this morning, it was like low 40s, and I had to bundle up, wear a jacket. This is, this is nice, this is cool. Kind of reminds me of the old trip I took on that river that took me out to that gator hole at the time. This is, really what it looks like. This little creek is cool. I like this. Like I said, the water levels were higher when I stayed there. When I went under that bridge, I could only, it was only about a foot and a half. So I had to lay down. Me and Oakley laid down. Getting friendly with the spiders? Well, we used our hand to get across, but the problem is, the sand up there was hitting us in the eye when we were going across. The sand dropping off and it was laying right in our eyes. This water's swift. It's actually kind of challenging because in order to go around the corners I have to kill my momentum to point the nose in the direction of the flowing water. Otherwise, it'll spin me around and take me up into the cypress trees.
Okay, the water is not as swift as it was because it's more spread out through the woods. But it doesn't make it any less challenging because we've got to navigate around all these cypress knees. This is really cool though. This is a lot of fun. Challenging water adventures I've had in a very long time. And uh, that's pretty wild back here. This is some serious swamp. I like it. I keep getting lodged in between cypress knees and things like that and, and having to readjust my uh, path. Changing to a and things like that. Ugh. See how you can feel it. Like when you hit a hidden cypress knee, just lurches the boat. It's like, whoa. Challenging back here, very swampy. Can't really navigate clearly. This is my Disneyland. It's hard work, but it's, it's, it's fun, you know? For me, this is really exciting. This is exactly the type of thing that gets me going. I love this stuff. far we haven't found anything thing is though it's like we're in the middle of the cypress swamp adjacent to the uh, St. John's and we are like deep deep in here and uh, we haven't found anything uh, that would resemble an Indian mound we did find some high ground but uh, we didn't see any of the telltale signs that would uh, uh, lead us to believe that it is actually a mound it's just raised ground. Uh, we're gonna start heading back. 
because it's starting to get late and uh, we don't know our way through here very very well he's got a um, he's got a trail tracker so he knows the direction that we came in on but uh sometimes you don't get a signal underneath the can canopy here and so we don't want to get lost but the ride back should be a lot of fun because we're going to go with the current and uh there's technically shouldn't be too much more struggle but it's but uh this this trip has been fantastic no we didn't find the mound but we but we are having a good time and that's what this is all about just have fun survey the area try to find something and if not come back and try again We're starting to get into the section that we came in on this morning that was really swift and we had to paddle heavily through the current and it's taken us really quickly so we're we're gonna be out to the main river here in a few minutes so uh let's see what we can get into all right a good time Whew. man crashing into all kinds of stuff oh man got really moving there for a minute that was uh pretty much my first real foray into some type of rapids i mean i don't know what anybody would class those rapids as um, but i mean there's a there's like class three rapids up in North Florida and a couple here in Central Florida, but this one, uh, this is just high water running through a narrow channel. So, so that was, that was a lot of fun. that wind Woo. yeah back there there was no place to get out of the boat it was all swamp as far as the eye could see and we had to stop and stretch our legs and we're about near the boat ramp 
So we wanted to just say farewell and sign off. And I appreciate you showing me that creek, man. That was cool. Yeah, it got starting to get cold. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This guy, he jumps out the boat to move the kayak. It's funny. I was like, whoa. But uh, we got we, it got real crazy at the end there. And that was a lot of fun, though, man. I really appreciate it today, man. Thank you. Yeah, it was worth the run. It was worth the run. I mean, some of that, some some of that forest back there is really, really old. So, awesome. All right, guys, we appreciate you very much. Thank you for watching, and take care. Signing off.